To balance this neutralization reaction, we have nitrous acid plus barium hydroxide. We'll count the atoms up on each side and then balance the equation. We have one hydrogen right here, and be careful because we have one hydrogen here times the two, so that's two more, gives us three hydrogen atoms. We have one nitrogen, two oxygens, plus we have the one oxygen here times the two, that's two more, so we have four. Remember, this here, this number two, applies to everything in the parentheses. Then we have one barium. On the product side, we have two hydrogen atoms, we have one nitrogen times two, so we have two of those. Oxygens, two times two, that gives us four, plus we have one here with the water, five oxygen atoms, and barium, we have just one. Let's leave the oxygens and the hydrogens to last. That's a good strategy. Let's do the nitrogens. We have two here and one here. Let's put a two in front of the nitrous acid, the HNO2. So now let's update our hydrogens, nitrogens, and oxygens. For hydrogen, we have one times two, that's two, plus two times the one, the two there. So we have four hydrogen atoms, one times two, that's two nitrogens. So we balance the nitrogens. Oxygens, two times two, that's four four plus two times the one, that's two, and that gives us six oxygen atoms. At this point, let's balance the hydrogens. So we have four here and two here, so we need to double this number. We'll put a two in front of the H2O, two times two, that'll give us four. So we've balanced the hydrogens. Let's update the oxygens. We have two times two, that gives us four, plus one times two, that gives us two, get a total of six oxygen atoms, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So two things here. It's often helpful to leave the hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atoms till last, and then if you have a number here, a subscript outside of the parentheses, it applies to everything in the parentheses. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HNO2 plus BaOH2. Thanks for watching.